Oh. Sup Rise, Eco. Sup Patrick. Topski, what up, man? Jacques, what's up, dude? We got Soffles here in his local little spot. Adrian's over here. Arrowhead's artist, what up? He's preparing the inspiration. Getting inspired. <laughs> this is the digs. We thought we'd run ghetto. What's up guys? What are you painting, Suffles? So we're gonna paint, I'm painting a real life version of the NFT package. You! So turn this can into like a, a super can. How so good. We're gonna give it as a, do it as a giveaway. How good, so that pack for all the writers versus street artists, Softwares yeah. are gonna do it in real life. Exactly. Let's go. What are you thinking, Adrian? I'm gonna do one of the actual like arrowhead shapes. Oh nice. Sick. So we're going to see a real life arrowhead come to life here too. Yes. Shit, yes, man. Where's everyone from? We've got Mexico in the building. Jacques, are you from uh, from France? Topski, Topski's in Queensland, eh? I believe so. Yeah, or Tassie. Yeah, Tassie. When was the flood last year, eh? Yeah. Oh no, this year, earlier this year. Yeah. So, like, if you look at the river now, so like, to show people where, how high it was. So this is the river down here. The river's down there. And the start of the year, and the start we had of the year, this crazy the flood. Was, the water was like up to about here. So it was above our, above our head level. Crazy. So all of this was completely flooded. Basically up to the, uh, over the fence, or probably at the fence line, just over there. All of this completely underwater. Yeah, Topski's from Tassie, that's right. Michael's from East Coast. Eco's from Brizzy. Liverpool, UK. Somewhere on the globe, Josh Maudi, what's up? Harry Hardcore from South Australia. Restaurant, what's up? Where's that flag, dude? I don't recognize it. Really interesting. Texas. 
Yo, we've got Jeremy from Texas here. Uh, what's up? Chicago, Chi Town, Shin and In. Munich, Germany, North Queensland, Kansas, damn. That's good. So it's like meant to be some like old, um, it's like real, like apparently the emerald tablets were found like in a cave, but like more in more recent times. And it was like some, that was a translation, right? In the book. Well, I think, no, I think the emerald, I don't know. I don't know if they're actually physical or if they're, Basically, these things it says that it's like Kyoto, man, that's one of my favorite cities in the world. Mark, what's up? Global baby, so good. Mark, I spent some time up in uh, Mount Koyosan, beautiful up there. Went through the big uh, graveyard at like 2 a.m. One night, it's just me, it was, it was spiritual as. Bulgaria. Limica, what's up? Posse shot. Ew. Yeah, Joshua, that silly Simon's crazy, man. The doses for depression. Yeah, Curtis, man, live. So Sofos is uh, painting this can, which is the pack cover of these uh, NFTs from Writers of the Street Artists. And this is our latest Black Book artist, Adrian Dominique, Phoenix, Arizona. He's painting one of his arrowheads. You guys, uh, school's in session. We've got mad education here. All about education. All about education. There you go. <laughs> but I didn't have the research to do it. Someone else has fucking done the research. I think we've got some Posse Shot crew in here. Oh, I've got some Posse Shot crew. Posse, get the money up. What's up, Necron? Yeah, Topski posse shot.
Yeah. yeah. Necron 99, the most dangerous assassin in the galaxy. Yep. Fuck That's man. him. Dude, he's live right now watching you. No pressure. Do you remember Necron 99 is? Necron 99? Yes, sir. That was, was, uh, so, in, there was a, an animated film called uh, Wizards. Uh, a lot of graph fighters got some of their, their characters deeds. It was real big, like Bombo. Day styles. Oh. It was animated by this guy named Ralph Fox. Like 80, 80 yeah. of and Necron 99 was uh, was the evil wizard's assassin. He was walking around with like this red jumpsuit and you couldn't see his face. It was just like black and, and then these yellow slits and fucking gun. What's and the show called? It's called Wizards. It was a it was a it was a film. Oh, it's a movie. Uh, yeah. But an animated yeah. movie. Animated movie from the late seventies. Dude, I'm gonna look dope. Dude. I'm gonna look that shit up. Necron 99. Necron 99. He's he's live man. He's I hope you're stoked that I know that shit, bro. That shit's tight. Yeah, he's saying Wizards 1977. Yes, sir. Old school graph. Yeah. Yeah, Caro's from there. <laughs> How good. I bet you didn't expect that, Necros. We're gonna go for a little walk. Is that a drone? Someone's buzzing around with a drone over here too. Yeah, Curtis said he grew up on Wizard too. Charged. I'm going to throw in our uh, Discord link to anyone who's not in Discord. Make sure you jump in so you don't miss this stuff. Cap out of the car. <laughs> How long have you been paying for, Soffles? Uh, I did my first graffiti piece in January 2000. Oh, yeah? So I start, yeah, got into it in 99, and then in Jan January 2000, I did my first actual like graffiti piece, so that's when I see it. It's like, well, that's when I started. Already. There you go, yeah. 22 years. See the shape, mouth and the eyes. No, no, I don't got one. Have you painted any of these arrowheads outside of the uh, tablet? Uh, not yet. This is the first one, I believe. Yeah, this is the first. Yeah, nice. First arrowhead in the wild. Yeah, I reckon we should give this away. What do you guys reckon? Yeah, I think so. I reckon we can send this to someone in the Discord. One of the community members got the arrowheads dropped. 
next week. Can't wait, man. It's going to be dope. What does that little buffer do? Does that like control the overspray or? Oh yeah, these are stencil caps that, well, oh, I didn't sick. invent stencil caps, but like we make our own. Yeah. Um, yeah, these are basically them. So we got three different apertures on them. Uh, they got a real deep reservoir. A couple of other math tricks to make them work really, really good. Crazy. If you can't see this shit, it's not focusing right. It's uh, 3D printed by the looks of it. Adrian Dominique branded. Check that out. Fat Up Collective. Love that. Stencil caps. What year was he born? Probably 1950, I think, Soffles. Where's the SWAT sticker? Oh, shit, over here. <laughs> Didn't even notice that. Oh, shit. <laughs> There's a, a whole lot of everything around these parts right here. So there's heaps of SWAT stickers around here. I didn't even notice before. I found a uh, cheeky little soffles down here before as well. Oh, swag, that's what you're talking about. I gotcha. Total spot. This is a little spot in Brisbane, Australia, West End. Oh, is it in the thumbnail as well? <laughs> Oh, there's heaps of these little SWAT stickers around. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and someone said it's in the thumbnail as well. <laughs> it's fucked. It's like, I had a, um... I might I just put it back here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, someone was saying YouTube's not happy with it. Oh, yeah, they censored it. <laughs> All right, well, let's, uh, let's play a little cover-up game then. See if I can find a bit of a cinder block or something. Chuck in front of it. It's like half a SWAT skin now. <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> Topski the genius. I'm like getting cinder blocks to put in the way of the SWAT scar. Topski's like, just paint over it. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> Smart man, MVP for that one. <laughs> You can tell I don't roll around with the can in my hand all day, right? We'll corrupt you soon enough. Yeah, it won't be long. Uh, Sweck, there are lots of poisonous animals in Australia. <laughs> 
Definitely not a rumor. I mean, to be honest, where we are, again, we're so close to the river, we've got all this like overgrown and these little spaces through here. There'd be snakes and there'd snakes probably be snakes and, and stuff. And I haven't the seen water, water rats, rats before. The water rats here actually oh shit, you know what? That might have been what I saw it, saw over here before. Probably. All right, we'll see if there's a... Uh... Yeah, this is uh, definitely a legal spot. Eco. Oh no, that's a possum. All right, you guys want to see a possum? An Aussie possum right there in the tree? Some crazy ass birds. There you go, this is an educative... Uh... <clears throat> Live stream. Educative, Educative live experience. <laughs> yeah, it's a dope little spot, Necron. What's crazy is like we're only we're not far from the city. I mean that's like the, the proper city over there. But this, uh, this whole area, as you can see down there, like just straight up at the end here, if you turn right outside there, busy as. Cafes, shops, everywhere. And then you've got this little spot just hidden down the back. How don't you lose your letter lines, bro? <laughs> How don't you lose the lines of the letters? <laughs> oh man, lots of practice. <laughs> I've lost them many times. Damn, that's looking dope. Man, look how fine those cracks are. Not too shabby. The tangos. Holy shit. Dude, that's crazy. It looks so rad. Anyone else on the chat use uh, use those stencil caps? Because they've been used for a while. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I, I can put them and let them live on a can until, uh, until I pull the can. Yeah, right. So you've just got your stencil cans basically. <laughs> Someone was asking what the uh, arrowhead shape of this one's called? Uh, this one's called a uh, uh, heartbreaker. A heartbreaker. Yeah, it's a pretty classic arrow shape. A lot of them, uh, about the idea behind the project is bringing some, uh, uh, some contact to the history of some of the shapes that are used in contemporary, well, not just contemporary, but classic or key shapes. Yep. And uh, yeah, so this is, uh, this is one of the arrowhead shapes. So good. We got some visitors and they took the wrong turn. Yeah, it looks tight. Yeah, Dylan, I don't know if you were, uh, how long you've been here for. The Asian 3D prints these stencil caps. And he's got a bunch of different apertures on him, which obviously uh, controls the, the thickness of the uh, lines that come out. Yeah, C. Johnson said uh, they used to make them out of lids by cutting them. Yep. Bassix taught us years ago. Yep, that was exactly how we were doing them for years and years and years. And uh, I got old and lazy and I got a friend of mine who's an engineer the 3D file of them. So yeah. 
Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, a few of them use the tiny, sp tiny pink ones. Yeah, as well. tiny pinks. Those are good. Zach Soppers has gone the uh, can colors on the wall too. Make sure if you guys aren't in the uh, Blackfoot Discord, you join us. We're doing doing this stuff more frequently, I reckon. Hiko wants to know some tips on filling a piece, Russ. Usually, I actually wouldn't fill with a round cap. Right. So a lot of the time, I do most of my fill with a calligraphy cap, either a ghetto blaster or a red chisel, mm -hmm. because the, you get more coverage out of the camp. A lot of people don't, don't, don't know that, they think that they, the chisels use more paint or whatever, but they're the most efficient ways to, to fade and to paint. There you go. So chisel get caps. Some, get some chisel caps. Did you didn't bring one? I didn't bring one today. <laughs> <laughs> no chisel caps. We're at, we're at Soffer's little uh, <coughs> storage, storage shed studio before. Everything under the sun. Had more paint than the local paint shop, I reckon. <laughs> your favorite thing to paint Ross? What's that? What's your favorite thing to paint? Favorite thing to paint? Yeah. Letters. Letters. Always. <laughs> my dad, my parents always ask me like, oh you can paint beautiful portraits and all this shit, why don't you do that? Like, nah. Well, letters. <laughs> letters or nothing. Yo, so can someone tell me, is there actually a SWAT sticker in the uh, thumbnail? Amsterdam, what up? A big one. Oh no. <laughs> I wonder if I can switch out the thumbnail. Kanye did it. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of fun. It's like, yeah, come watch our live. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not racist, I promise. Nothing really nasty. Can't do some art. Right? <laughs> Damn kids with their swatch stickers. <laughs> I wonder. Oh, here you go. I can see some filters. That, oh no, that just filters the whole video. I don't reckon you'll be able to change it. Maybe that's just something we got to think about next time. Yeah. I reckon after I end the live stream, I can taste it. Yeah, you probably, I think you can change it. So when the video uploads, you can definitely change it. Yeah, yeah. Still, it's like uh, just after midday, 12.30 here. If you could only pick one cap for the rest of your life, what would it be? That's, a, that's actually really hard. <laughs> um, I think it'd have to be probably an Astro. Astro cap. Astro cap. One cap for life. <laughs> Three thirty AM. We've got some some European crew in here. Euro crew. Sick. Still up. Oh, good. Good way to end the uh, end the night. What countries we got? So European countries. We've definitely got Amsterdam, Germany.
thank you for that, bro. All oh, right, there's some uh, World Cup games on. Yeah, that's why people are still up. <laughs> How we got the battery? Uh, battery is seventy-seven percent, holding well. Oh, we've got Elma from Ligma. Yeah. Ligma? You haven't heard of it? No. Ligma nuts? <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Italy. Yeah, Rise One's keen on the arrowheads next week. What do you guys think of that hype reel? It was pretty sick, huh? That was fun putting that together. Oh yeah, it's from uh, the south of Ligma. <laughs> you haven't? No, I know a lot of bad jokes, you know? Yeah, you gotta spend more time on Twitter, man. <laughs> All right, favorite colors and shades from both of you. Yeah. Like gray is like there's there's a gray that's close to white, yep. a gray that's close to black. And yep. also like then there's all the grays are like brown grays, purple yeah, grays, yeah, yeah. blue grays. Like if yeah. I just say gray, that actually means like a shit lot of colors. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That's my answer. There you go, gray. What about you, Suffles? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, good point, Sil. Maybe we should uh, put something on. It's hard with the live streams and music, though, because they can uh, tear it down, eh? It's like they put a live, uh, whatever the copyright thing is, and if yeah. you put the music on, if they don't, even if it doesn't get it straight away, it'll cut all the sound. Yeah, there you go. If we've got the music, they'll just tear it down. We'll go on mute. Is the Soffles and Hazer piece still here? Yeah. Which one's that? That's the, big one on, that's the one on the ledge. Oh, yeah. Can you zoom on that? That purple and blue that. one? Yeah, yeah. The, those two on the ledge there under the face. But where yeah, the purple, the whole purple background re, re, we redid. Oh, yeah. There we go. Because it got fucked up. We got capped that piece. Yeah. Someone came and capped the bottom of it. Yeah, there's a, there's a few. Soffles did this uh, crazy one up here too. What, that animal? That's a uh, bush turkey. Man, there's all sorts of animals around here. Yeah, you can't really see that one too well, but it's massive, massive big one up there. Yeah, did those ones. Oh, actually, if I jump down here. Oh, shit, there's something down there. There's a lizard, not a snake. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, so there's that big one up there too that Soffles did. Um, civilian venomous snakes, I mean, there are, but probably not so much right here because we're really close to the water. The king browns are like the most venomous and you, they're usually, I mean, yeah, they're around, man, honestly. 
You don't see them too often, but they're around. Oh, still, I'll, uh, I'll let you know, man. Yeah, good question, Swek. I'll, uh, I'll ask him. Let me just shoot back. But yeah, this, uh, this place reminds me of um, this area in Berlin where they had like heaps of mad underground kind of nightclubs, like abandoned buildings, graph everywhere. Diego, I don't speak Spanish, man, sorry. All right, let's cruise back here. Yeah, I mean, I get a lot of pythons around my place. I live about an hour from here. Um, so does Adrian. But um, yeah, I mean, you get pythons here too. Just wondering if there's anything. I mean, like, there's a ton of lizards and stuff here. Taipans, uh, maybe a little bit further west. Not so much around here. Nah, pythons are sweet. House snakes. <clears throat> nah, the trouser snakes are basically just uh, in, in Ligma, south of Ligma, majority of the time. Do you get crossed over much here, Soffles, or do people kind of... Not, not too often, not too often. Ah, that's good. Right. Except yes. that piece up there you said, eh? Hey. Yeah, so that one got capped, but it, I, don't think it was, I don't think it was riders or anything. I think it was just some like, maybe dips or something. Yeah, know. some trolls. It didn't look Uh, we're in Brizzy, civilian. Oh, here's a big one and I'll get you both to weigh in on this. How do you feel about the scene, the 2022 scene? Yeah. Yeah. Adrian's just doing his own thing. Uh, yeah, just doing my own thing. I will say that there was, I won't call out any crews, but there was recently, uh, you know, over a decade old, major, major fucking beef between two major American crews. Yeah. And they squashed it. Anybody in the in the chat is from either of one of those crews? Congratulations! Real proud of you guys for like making a like a positive step forward. That's big news. To me, so. That's mad. So that's decades of uh, rivalries. Decades yeah. And like they squashed it. Like that's such a, that's that's great. That's what I feel. It's dope that beats going away. Yeah, that's dope. Yes, Swek, I think we'll uh, one day we'll do maybe a meetup with, with everyone painting somewhere. Yeah, for sure. I think the hardest part is finding those walls. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, we've got some outline going. Um, Dude, what I is think, it? I don't know with the scene. My sort of view on the scene now, it's like, um, it's obviously changed a lot from when I started. But it's um, I don't know. I think there's a lot of there's a lot of really good things happening in it. You know, there's always going to be hectic shit happening with graffiti. But yeah, like you said, there's I think people are shifting their mentalities. They're realizing that we need to work together rather than um, fighting each other. Um, and yeah, it's it's good. I think there's like a lot of really the the quality's gone up a lot in um in graffiti lately. And yeah. there's a lot of people doing a lot of really cool shit. I agree with that. There's, there's definitely some of the most 
nowadays than I've seen like kind of forever. I That's think cool. there's like I think a lot of it's like um I think a lot of it there's a lot of like the quality's gone up, the originality's maybe gone down. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Yes, because it's easier to reference. It's just like we're seeing so much more where say like my reference when I started graph it was like you only saw what was on your train lines or in the abandoned place in your area or the graph that you could see. Yeah. And you could get yeah. influenced by that. But there was like the rules of like it was like you can't copy it though. Because if you copy it you're a fucking toy and that person will bash you or whatever for copying their style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, now yeah. it's like with the internet, no one from America's gonna bash you for your fucking copy copying something or whatever. And it is a part of the learning to copy stuff when you start, but yeah, I don't know, it's interesting. I think people have a lot more access to... We only sort of saw, like, so when you grew up, was it like the style was, your city had a style? Absolutely, absolutely. It was like, you know, and say with Brisbane, it was like, there was a Brisbane style or a Sydney style or like a Melbourne style. But then yeah. as like all the forums and the internet started, that started to sort of like change a bit or something, or the influence started to be greater from outside and everyone got to see, oh, there's like Euro style, there's like, these dudes doing this shit in America, there's, you know, you got to see so much more. So I think people just started taking different bits from all different places. So obviously the quality got better, but then I think like a lot of graph, if you look at it, you're like, okay, that's, you can almost see where it stems from. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's yeah, not many yeah. people where I see like artists like, you know when you see like an artist, you're like, I've never seen anything like that before. And it's super dope. Like I don't, that doesn't happen to me as much, but I see a lot of good graph. No, but I'm not I like, see what you mean. You know yeah, what I mean? That's that's a fair point. I sort of see like a lot of really good pieces and I'm like, that's super dope and executed really well, but it's like a bit of this guy's stuff and a bit of that guy's stuff and you haven't really like, that's sort of how I see it a bit, you know? But I mean, dude, we're all guilty. I fucking, I take reference and stuff. I'm not even ashamed of it. But yeah, I try to, absolutely. Um, I try absolutely. to at least like, I think if you take something, you've got to change it enough that people don't realize that you're biting. If they realize you're biting, you're bite, you, it's too much, you know? I agree. I agree. I don't know. I used to get it like real, real, like, I guess take it personal almost, you know? That, yeah. You know, if I saw people that were like talking or whatever. Yeah. But like, not so much anymore. No, I'm not stressed about it. I mean, it's not like, for me, it's a personal thing. Like, if you want to copy someone's stuff, copy it. But just don't don't make out that you're not copying it. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah or yeah. give that person hom give that person homage. That's, that's, that's what I think. But, Oscar Matt, I saw you come up before. What's up, man? What's that? Uh, Oscar Matt, yeah. one of the the Black Book crew. Oh, wait, yeah. Legend, man. That, that dude's awesome. He um, he's got some mad hookups in in Newey. Oh, he's sick. trying to get us down to Newey to do some uh, some live stuff down there. Yeah, An Australian tour sounds pretty dope. <laughs> That'd be sick. Just get like a bus. Just cruise. Ukraine. Maxim, what up? Get, get a bus, take that to the studio. And paint it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I reckon that'll be enough paint to get us around Australia. Yeah. Just a bus full. I reckon you'd almost fill it with yeah. uh, what's at the studio at the moment. Someone was asking about the uh, authorities up here at the moment. How they're treating Graf and... Um, I don't know, like I know a few people have been getting in trouble and stuff for graffiti, but um, I actually think in Brisbane there's been like, they're not going as hard on shit at the moment. Like they're not going as hard on the on buffing stuff, that's for sure. Yeah, right. But um, yeah, it's, um, I've never seen so much graph in Brisbane since like the mid 2000s. Like seeing tags on the streets and drops and pieces, like it hasn't been like this for a a long time it's like when COVID hit they, yep. they just stopped buffing there's certain things that haven't been touched since COVID that they used to paint they used to they used to get buffed every week you know yeah right so I'm not sure if some of the um, money got reallocated or uh, what happened but well that's yeah. cool that things are sticking around longer well I think they've done they've done some polls they've done like polls with the public and as like our generation gets older, there's like graffiti's not a problem. It's just some kids painting some stuff. It's like 
it's not a big deal as they make it out. Yeah. I think they've done polls and stuff now where the public's like, we don't even notice the graffiti. Who gives a shit? They yeah. Put the money somewhere into something better. Yeah. You know? like, they don't care, but it's just, it always, it's just got hammed up to be a lot, look a lot worse than it is. Yeah, it only takes one piece in like a really popular area to get that media coverage and then they're on like a big stinger again. Yeah, well, it's just like they see some stuff done it's like, you realise it's all just like politics. Like so when they did the last big buff in Brisbane and, and why Brisbane is clean, why a lot of the graffiti got cleaned up was because there was a Lord Mayor who used it as a, a ploy to, uh, for his campaign. It came out years later, his brother-in-law had a painting company. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's like, they must have been at dinner and been like, guys, I've got a plan. Like, <laughs> you're a, you got a house painting company. I'm the Lord Mayor. I'm going to do this fucking campaign against graffiti. And it'll make me look really good. I'm going to fucking undertable you the contract. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You go, oh, we got to get rid of all this graffiti. It's disgraceful. And everyone's like, yeah. Yeah, we gotta get rid of the graffiti. <laughs> no, this is like, fuck, guys. Like, can't you just see the corruption, you know? So yeah, mate, it's so a lot, of, um, a lot of the graffiti got cleaned up in Brisbane. Yeah. Not because there was an issue here, but because of there was some under the table deals going on in our um, in our uh, in our council. Um, so, yeah, so that's sort of where we're at now. But safe to say, he didn't get re-elected. <laughs> no, he was unrealising that the fuck with. <laughs> suddenly realise how a lot of things in the world are run like that. Yep. Unfortunately, it's just like, whatever reason they're telling you, it's like there's, there's other agendas at, at play, unfortunately. Man, people Every, are always benefiting. Just like, everyone, you know, if you're greedy and guilty, you're fucking, you're going to try and undercut people or make up bullshit to, you know? Yep. Tell people a problem and then you tell them the solution. Someone was asking about Selena Miles. Yeah. How'd you connect with him? Uh, we were, fr I was uh, friends with her back in the day. Um, we grew up a little bit back in the, uh, we were friends growing up. Um, yeah, she was a, she's a really good videographer. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we, we uh, went our separate ways. Um, and yeah, I work with After Midnight, After Midnight Film Co now. Yeah, nice. Uh, he's been doing a lot of my uh, recent video stuff. He's really, really good. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, one hand behind the back. It's Adrian. Seen, some uh, my other mate was doing this the other day. This must be some really fucking. This is a secret technique that I don't even know about. <laughs> the stabilizer technique. It's a stabilizer <laughs> technique. It's like a fucking can gimbal, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weights his body perfectly. There you, you go. Know what's up? <laughs> yeah, what's up? I know about physics. <laughs> yeah, see that? There Look you that. go. Should I have a try? There you go. There you go. There's, there's no turbulence in that can control with one hand behind the back. I think it looks really like a, a bit of a gentleman thing. <laughs> Gentlemen. This is the gentleman styles. Okay. I say gentlemen. Would you like to watch my paintings, sir? And see, that's too chubby. You've got to be proper. Oh, oh like, sorry. Watch my line. Oh. That was straight, but curved. <laughs> You're vibing on it? Just like that. I feel like it's stretching my fucking... Yeah, because I get sore and hair sometimes. There we go, we got balance, we got stretching. You got like yoga. It's cool, isn't it? It's all, yeah, it's all part of it. Right. Just be here now. The most edumacative graph video you've watched. You need to start doing yoga on Swatska soon or something. <laughs> We gotta get PJs after this. Oh, what's that? 
PJ's, the steakhouse. Yeah, yeah, the Philly cheese steaks. They're so and good, man. I was only had it once. I was living here for ages, and um, I only had it once. It was fucking good, man. Dude, they're so it's good. Like, it's proper like heart attack food. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't be running that. That's not a weekly meal. <laughs> unfortunately. It's an end of day meal, that's for sure. The amount of meat they get on some of those subs is just crazy. Dude, it's insane, man. And it's like, it's, it's fucking tasty like that. Whatever the fuck they're doing that meat. Yeah. Not gonna ask. Most risky country, like in general or to paint in? Noel. Noel, no, my bad. I'm in the Christmas spirit. Asia? Asia? Yeah, Asia in general. Graph. Like Asia, Middle East, Dubai, any of those ones. Like Dubai was actually a place where I was like, every country I go to, I, I've painted something, but Dubai, I was like, I'm good with my hands. There you go. You can't mess with it over there, man. They just like. So in Dubai, like they literally know, even though you don't realize it, they know where you are. They know where everyone in that in that whole city. They know yep. where everyone is. At all times, everyone who's from into from overseas, they know yep. where you are at all times. Serious, like, like with surveillance, yeah. like yeah, they've got like all kinds. Of, they've just got stuff over there that's a different. It's a different fucking different planet over it's there. Different world, eh? Living in Australia, single person with a minimum wage, is it easier to pay rent and have some left over? No. Fuck no. <laughs> Hell no, not at the moment. We're getting rent at the moment for the rent shift. Yeah. Dude, I was paying fucking twelve fifty. Twelve hundred and fifty bucks a week for rent. That's insane, man. That's like in American, I guess that's like a thousand American a week, I think. Yeah. Or about. Is that about right, Adrian? Is it? Twelve fifty? Yeah, yeah, that's about right. Twelve yeah. fifty is about just over. And what was that for? A big mansion, right? <laughs> <laughs> was that here in West End? No, that was um, over the other side of town. But yeah. yeah it so just, in. It, just, it was only for a little while while we were uh, in between houses. But... Yeah, twelve hundred and fifty Australian dollars equivalent to about a thousand US a week um, for an inner city suburb. That's ridiculous. Yeah, twelve hundred a month is a lot. Civilian said yeah. in uh, in the US. So then, but then that like that that house pre pandemic was probably. 850, 900. Yeah. 850, I reckon. Yeah. So then, like, they've just been rinsing us through the pandemic, you know? Yeah, a lot of places during the pandemic, because um, occupancy is just like, you know. No, it's Putin, man. Yeah. Putin? Yeah, it's Putin. It's Rent's all Putin. Gone up. Yeah, there Putin. you go. Rent's gone up. We work for the, you know, it's obviously Putin. Yeah. I reckon. Putin and Kanye? Yeah, Kanye. Yeah, yeah like 50% Kanye, 50% yeah. Putin. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, even where I live, like our next door neighbors, they, uh, their rent was going to go up $350. They'd been there for, they'd been there for three years and every year it went up 20 bucks a week. And then, bucks a week. That's, yeah, 20 bucks a week, but like yeah, each year, yeah, yeah, each yeah. year. Um, and then yeah, post pandemic or like right in the guts of it, yep. they wanted to pump it $350 a week is, extra. Like, the thing is you say like no that's not fair they're like off you go yeah and they'll have some they'll have 20 more people there the next day to yep. pay that money so yeah like, yeah in a cinch yeah. there's, there's a huge like <clears throat> like everywhere in the world right like the the wealth gaps the um the higher income earners they've got that cash to burn and that's why these houses just get get snapped up they can See, with here, a lot of people, increase the rent a lot of people moved up from sydney and melbourne Mm -hmm. and they sold their places there which was already expensive so there was like sydney was overpriced anyway yeah so they sold their place there moved to brisbane but then they've got enough money to just buy a place pretty much outright here yeah they still have fucking money in the bank so that happened each on the pandemic yeah everyone obviously wanted to get out of melbourne well that was the craziest thing because like obviously melbourne and sydney the wages are way, way more. Like you earn way more in those big cities than you would up here in Brizzy, yeah, you're right? Yeah. But, oh, abso absolutely, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. But then everyone switched to working from home, right? So they could they could get those big city wages, but they didn't have to live in the big city. Yeah, yeah, so everyone yeah. just migrated to Queensland for, for better weather. Yeah, yeah. 
but still retain their crazy salaries from the big cities. Yeah, I mean, that's it. absolutely that's what was happening in um, on the Gold Coast. The people that moved next to us at Palm Beach yep. from Melbourne. Yep. Um, there's three families that are in my son's school. They all moved up from Melbourne. Yep. And it was the exact conversation I had with them. Yep. They no longer had to live in those cities just to get that those big jobs. So I think there's, like good, I think there's good in that. But I think there's also there's people, a lot of people up here are really suffering because of that. Oh, yeah. And there's, like, there's people I've got... Um, you know, mates up the sunny coast who they can't even they can't even find a house not not even just to like they can't they can pay for it yeah but they can't actually get one yeah and, yeah um, there's two families, houses for living, rent living on top of each other and stuff yeah like, there's like three families living in a fucking house and stuff like yeah there's two or two or three houses for rent in my suburb at the moment yeah i remember looking last week yeah and man can you imagine how many people are gonna rock up in the fucking like you walk in everyone's up the beach like yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Well, Ambrose, he's 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 looking for a place at the moment, and they're offering I think twenty to fifty dollars extra per week, and yeah, yeah, and they they almost get laughed at. What do you mean? Because they're like, oh, it's gonna be gonna need to pay a bit more than that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So all of the real estate. Everyone's doing that now, like. Yep. Yeah, all of the real estate agents reckon that like you got to put fifty plus a week on top of what they're already paying just to secure it. It's stupid, man. It's out of control. Someone was asking about what cap you were using, Sophos. Another cap? It's a level one. It's like the German Montana, like Montana gold, Montana black. Yep. That cap system, but it's like, it looks like this. Like that, that boy. Oh, yeah. And these are like really good. It's basically like a skinny in New Yorker. Mm-hmm. But it's a really good skinny. It's like versatile. You can get sort of like these tapered lines, you know, but it's not, yep. too, not too hectic. That's, probably, that's my second favorite cap. <laughs> yeah, civilian loves that one. Uh, not a good era to move to Australia. I mean, it depends, right? Depends what you're after. Depends how deep your pockets are. The hardest thing is like in, inflation's going crazy, like wages are just, they're not rising at the same rate, all that sort of stuff. It's, um, but I mean, that's kind of worldwide right now, I, I feel. But don't stress because all of the bullshit in the world is gonna come to light. We're gonna fuck off the tax. We're gonna fuck off all these fucking, fuck off all the cunts we don't need, get them out of power, and it's all gonna change. Food is going to be fucking cheaper and better quality. Water is going to be free and more quality. And there's not going to be this bullshit in the world anymore. It's changing. There you go. It's, it's already changing. Don't worry. Shifting gears. Yeah. It's going to change. It's going to get darker for a while. And then it's going to get way better beyond what we can even imagine. Uh, I know that in my heart. Yep. It's the power of the two, baby. It'll happen. Those colors look dope. Sure. Oh, canvas is finished. Arrowhead. I'm keeping track of who's in here. We're gonna uh, give away the can and we're gonna give away that canvas by this man over here. First Arrowhead IRL. Yeah, the first real, real life painted one? Yep. That's it, that was Man, it's muggy as hell and I'm in jeans. I don't know why yeah. I wore jeans today. I've just been walking around no shoes, just in shorts for the last few days. Everything else. Yeah. It's been so fucking hot. It's been so hot. Yeah, civilian. Um, 
Soffles and Adrian were just having that chat before about the new iron lac formula. How much better it was spraying. Yeah, the valve's a bit better. The valve's better too. The valve's a bit, it's, it's got, it's got strengths and weaknesses. Go on. Um, it's like, it comes out, you have probably a bit more control. Yep. With the new ones, but you don't have the, it's not, it's not as fast. There you go. Just, Sometimes <laughs> more control, but not as fast. Yeah, more control, so choose your formula. It's like a matte finish, which is like nice as well, but then yeah. also like a little bit of gloss in there. Yeah. Oh, sun's coming out. Shit. That? Yep, stinging. Sick. Looking good, man. It's looking real good. Is the pack coming together on the can? Oh, Soffles Only fan, are you guys not subscribed yet? Yes, work. We're definitely going to be doing some uh, king spray, yeah, king spray work. Absolutely. Oh, lost, you did? I've lost my VR shit. Yeah, dope. You just found it. Yeah. Did you get on that shit? Yes, sir. There we go. Suss that out. Yeah, Adrian's going to be doing some uh, some one on ones in king spray for the arrowheads holders. Yep. Yeah, they're really temperamental. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you guys are down to do some uh, some king spray work, jump in the Discord. It's gonna be happening. Street fame, what up? Just before one. Yeah, it's just after one, 105. Sweet. Yeah, nice. Shiro was saying, it's dope watching your uh, paint live after growing up, seeing all of your, your pieces on the beeline. Oh, sweet. Was this a car park under a building, someone's asking? Yeah, I don't so know, like, maybe. So originally, these were all factories. See so, yeah, how there's like the big shed there? Yeah, yep. So come here. Like where that warehouse is? Uh huh. There was like three or four warehouses there. Yeah. And then see that office block building? Yeah. There was another one of those in front of it in this big blank area here. Yep. That looked like that. And then it was a warehouse behind it. And then this was a car park with another building, uh, another building here. Yeah, right. But was, that was all underground car park parking but it was like super dodgy junky junky bill yep um and then they sort of like they knocked down the buildings but they kept that one there for some reason yep um yeah i wonder when they're going to build more of those so the issue is i think there's um some sort of when they they started to knock it down to yep. redevelop but yep. then there was some contamination oh true and like whatever they were doing it was some contaminated shit. and it's all going to get flooded like hell well yeah, it's like, I think what the deal is, like, they can basically bury it. Yeah. But that costs, like, it costs, like, fucking heaps. Yeah. And then there's, um, 
they can dig it all out, but then that, that's like a bottomless pit of coin as well. So Absolutely. You know, like, no one wants to touch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's prime real estate though. Like, it's right on the Brizzy River, right in West End. The city's just over there. <laughs> yeah, selling like <clears throat> mass development to uh, to the graffiti crew. Love it. Rise wanted to know if you ever painted with forts. R.I.P. No, I didn't. Didn't paint with forts. Good mates with um, his friend Wisdom. Adrian, when did you come to Australia? Uh, about seven years ago. Seven yeah, years. Yep. Oof. Apparently that citizenship test is a bit of a bit of a hard one, a bit of a troublemaker. Yeah, I I was told as well, but, uh, as and if my dad can do it, you can do it, mate. Right? <laughs> Your dad did it? Yeah, my dad did it. Nice. Yeah, I went to uh, to Griffith on the coast with a bunch of internationals. Yeah. So the uni, and man, when they were doing their citizenship test, like they were asking me the questions, I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, like, oh, like it was. I don't even know if I'm Australian. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was so embarrassed. Yeah. They're like, yo, can you help me with the test? I'm like, I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> In what year was the Sydney Opera House <laughs> made? Was the Sydney Opera House built? And by who? And, and, by and who? what was and his no, dog's I, name? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> all right. Yeah, it was just dumb, man. A lot of it. Swex looking for apparel. You guys ever done clothes? Dude, so I was meant to get some shit out for Christmas, but we just like, it was September and then it was just December. Yup. I don't know what fucking happened. But we had apparel, we got apparel lined up. It should be early next year. Oh. Um, yeah, just gotta, gotta make it happen. Yep. Yeah. Maybe some black book merch. Ooh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Dope. Yep. Sick. Good. That's mad. So this will be a cool giveaway once it's uh, all finished. So Sophos will finish that can up, resemble the pack design from Riders vs Street Artists. We've got Adrian's Arrowheads canvas here. What's the first one? It's the first one to ever breathe the fresh air of the Southern Hemisphere. Yes. We'll send that out to one of you guys as well. Make sure you get into the Discord. I sent the link, but I mean, it's buried in the chat somewhere. Follow Black Book on Twitter. Go to the link tree. You can get to Discord through there. We're launching Adrian's Arrowheads project next week. Got some crazy, crazy factoids and transcripts from. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a massive thing I've been speaking to Adrian about. He's um, from Phoenix and knows history of, of the States and that area like you wouldn't believe with the graffiti history and the crews and the spots. And a lot of it's going to be embedded in your, your metadata inside the NFTs, which is crazy. But what we want to do is continue to build the archives, right? So hear about the history from where you guys are from, hear about the crews, your experiences, the spots, the people who run the spots, all of that. You know, we want to build out the archives. That's uh, that's Adrian's mission. That's the whole premise of Arrowheads. Yeah, I mean, the idea is uh, 
I don't know. I think that we're at a very unique time in art history as a, in a city in general and in particular. Yep. Um, and I feel like a lot of that history might be lost if we don't archive it. And mm -hmm. like, this is kind of like my push for that archiving to happen in the community. So. Yeah, it's up. Oh, we've updated the spot sticker. <laughs> Way better. Merry Christmas, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll, uh, we'll wrap it up. Peace. Thanks, guys. 14th. Arrowheads drop. It's coming at you on Algorand. Get into the Discord. We'll see you soon. Peace.